uh, doing a video out for Student of Smith. It's not about mass production or even government. It's about ourselves. It is about the ideas and values and concepts that we are and are not willing to accept. I'm not willing to accept the idea that someone's got a right to walk into my house and shoot me if somebody else tells them it's okay. I'm not willing to accept that. I am not willing to accept that uh, people are worthless, that they are just meat sacks that walk around and at some point they will die, okay? I'm not willing to accept that. I am willing to accept that we can resolve our own problems. I am willing to accept that if you and another individual have problems that need to be resolved and neither of you can agree on, you are more than free to ask someone else to mediate in the dispute uh, that will allow the two of you to figure out where you want to go uh, with your business. I'm fine with that. If everybody makes a little bit of a change, it's infinite. It's just as effective as if a few people make some drastic changes. And this was best ex uh, the best example I can think of, and I've thought of a lot, was Nick Tesla uh, talking with JP Morgan. JP Morgan turned down the opportunity to have wireless internet before World War II. Did you know that? He could have had the wireless internet, wireless power transmission, and all it would have taken is to keep funding um, Nikolai Tesla and his research. And Tesla knew what he was talking about. Because the electronic tabulation machines that we call computers, which are in this camera, which are over there on my desk, and I say my desk because my family's, anyway, these were not in place, so he could not have accurately measured how many people turned their wireless devices from idle to on. Okay? He couldn't have done that. Without being able to control something, despite the massive economic benefit he could have cashed in on with uh, converting people's tools to be wireless electric, uh, he shut the whole thing down. He was living in fear. Nick was living in hope. He was living in possibility. He was living in, let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Lord knows he blew up enough stuff. Anyway, the important thing is that one man came from the left brain which says, I know it will work. And one man came from the other side of the tracks that said, let's give it a go. What's the, what could it hurt? So, despite the fact that he electrified a whole town at one point, which was actually kind of funny because you got zapped any time you went near a metal surface. Anyway, what I'm saying is that there was possibility in each man's vision. And it's about what possibilities and what potentials and what ideas you are willing not just to accept intellectually I could accept any number of things on a practical level what would I apply to my life and if the idea of my life is that it is precious to me and that I can use it to enhance others then is there really a problem there and if I really want to solve my own disputes with other individuals and maybe log those dispute resolutions uh, with someone just in case they get to get a good idea out of it is that that bad that's why I don't have anything much against the court system when it's used correctly. So, yeah, it's not about what changes people make, whether they're big, small, or whether they're in a community or not, whether the manufacturing of uh, industry meets the needs of people or exceeds it. It is about whether people can embrace new ideas without throwing out their core, con core values. That really is what uh, gets a lot of voluntarists going. You heard the passion in my voice. So I hope this has explained where I'm coming from. If I have missed something, please let me know. Anyway, I'll also throw in a link to Psy War. It's a documentary where they talk about people uh, at one point, production actually met, um, met people's demand. They could either create more means and leisure time for people to enjoy those products, or they could uh, trick people into over-consuming. Well, they did the latter. So, anyway, I'll put the documentary in there, and I hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully you'll get a lot out of it. I'm Ozzy Griffin. It's been good talking to you.